one of the worst parts about staying awake. It's not the feeling tired part. That bit you can put up with. Sometimes your eyes can, can sting a little bit. Sometimes you can actually see things. You can patterns move and there's the, the mild edge of, of hallucinations, which is never as as ridiculous or dramatic as it sounds. But still, I'm just gonna run this. This is fucking silly. He's gonna have a crack and I'm gonna have a run. Please be something down here worth my time and not a Oh. Cool. That actually works really well. Oh, he's following, is he? You're so strange, you. I don't understand why you fight the way you... Oh, God. Oh. oh, wow. I did not mean for that to even be an attempted backstab. It's just the shitty detection that this game uses. I just don't understand how anybody can like the backstabs in this game more than the first game. I understand from the perspective of that it's not as easy, or, you know, air quotations, easy to do them. But that was just because the the detection was too wide. Oh, I, I anticipated as much. Good job, sir. Two ticks. Demon Souls had it right. If they'd changed the backstab to work like Demon Souls, they would have fixed it. Like, for all I care, you could make it tighter. Just... Just make it instant. I can't do with doing a phantom swing when I should never have done the swing in the first place. Look at this guy. Bitch. He went off. So, the reason I didn't hit him, if you're wondering, is because I reckon he would have guarded and tried to hit me with that triple combo because that enemy seems to be a bitch like that. He seems to just wait. Wait and punish instead of... Oh, God, this is... This is not what I want to be doing. Then again, this is look... Oh! Is that behind me or in front of me? Maldron the Assassin. That is not a human because I'm not online. This looks like the Abyss! And I don't walk forward because I'm going to end up... tripping some monsters to pop up. Oh! That must be it. That person's got a really big shield and a, and a lance and I can hear footsteps. Ooh, a carrot. Ah! Uh-oh. Whoa! Look at the life! Look at the, the instant recovery! I need to run away. I need to fight them in a place where it's not there. I need to not get one shot by a lance running attack. Did he not follow me? What a bitch! <laughs> Says the one running away. <laughs> that dude's got some... Oh! Jesus Christ! That might be one that needs turning down in post. Oh, that would have been a good face cam moment. If I did that shit. Which I don't. Fuck off you. Actually, but if I back up, he'll disappear, won't he? Yeah. Hell and high water. And a monastery scimitar. I'm... Oh, that's what we do. Then again, the punishment for failed monastery scimitars is kind of steep. <laughs> Especially on a goddamn big old fucking lancey thing. There's just tons of them. Tons of them. Why? It makes no sense. There's meant to be finesse in enemy placements. It's a science. It's not a fucking children's colouring book where they don't even know what the lines mean. <clears throat> uh, well, we try it anyway. It could go terribly and horribly wrong, but we'll see. This guy clearly has a, a very big leash. Very big chain. Or maybe he just really... Where did he go? Did he fall? There's what, that's what I could hear, those sandy people. I, I'm confused here, guys. He didn't die, he didn't despawn, so where the hell did he go? He must have, I don't know, gone down there. 
Don't be a trap. Please don't be a trap. It's not a trap. Bonfire aesthetics. Like, we need any more encouragement, really. I'm pretty curious about that fog now. This guy's fobbed off. He's throwing a bomb. What a bitch. <laughs> Have one back. Toss. Oh, come on. They're immune, aren't they? Of course they are. Uh, what can I throw at you? Ooh, whoa, 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 dickhead. Don't be so hasty. It might just be time for a, a nice bit of uh, arbalist action. Which I believe is crossbows, not in fact bows, so that's incorrect. I'm sure you'll let me off in my. Whoa. You see that? That was a counter hit! It took. Well, I'm not at full life, but. That's as close to half life as you can take. Madness. Sparta. Oh, he's going off. Oh, he's not going off. He is. Oh. And the quarterback is toast. He's not. Doesn't see. I need to get a headshot. And I'm not going to get a headshot with the auto aim, apparently. What's he got on him? He's got like an aura. <laughs> you are now my cuckold. I do not like this. I'm getting... Uh, I'm taking Vanquisher Seal off for the moment. No, I'm not. I'm keeping it on. I'm indecisive. <laughs> I'm getting cursed. I need to do something before I can go down here, I think. There's a trick to this. There may not be a trick. <laughs> yeah, they may just be curse. A whole lot of curse. Is he going to follow me? He is. So we've lost an invader, but we've gained a friend. Is it firing arrows at me? Please don't. Don't be that way. I actually quite like you. In fact, he's going to fire one. I've got your sword, though, so... I'd like your armor, please. And I rolled twice. Although I didn't really want to, but... Hey, well. And swing. And swing. No. And dash. This guy is super fair, man. Minus the big old combo. Even then, he's... Why is he not dead? Ah! The curse is reviving him. That is... I'm going to get sniped. Don't snipe me. Listen. If I hear it, I can roll. Very interesting. That's what that aura wore. They're healed by the dark. So there has to be a way to either illuminate it or get rid of it somehow. Which means we're not going that way, folks. We're going to go back up here. We're going to check out that frozen tundra. Kill a few more of those things, and then we're going to hit that boss fog. Or that standard fog, whatever it is. Oh, I don't trust this much. Luckily enough, the pull range. Look at the durability on my bow. They definitely changed something. Was that a double pull? I believe it might have been. So the sane part of me thinks that something is going to pop out of the ground here. Oh! Or out of the wall! <laughs> I missed a fantastic opportunity to quote aliens. I suppose we can leave through my diary of I'm going to run away like a giant bitch. Because <laughs> this happens to be quite a fetching read. I forget sometimes just how much the camera can be up your ass in this game. <laughs> Never gets old. You can't get back in your wall, buddy. Now get over here. Ass face. Let's 
let's not, shall we? <laughs> I tried to parry it, but yeah, <laughs> it did not work as I expected. I wish you could still do bow reposts. I liked them. I never did them before anybody gets too angry with me. And I should probably go on to mention what I'm talking about because no doubt I'll get a few comments asking what I mean. In the original Dark Souls, there was a glitch that involved the bow. Where, if you reposted while, I think, you two-handed a bow, something to do with, with having a bow on. Uh, it was an insanely powerful backstab. and I'm talking, like, you could do over 2,000 damage. 3,000 damage in, in some instances. I saw, I saw footage of people in Dragon Form doing it. Because I think Dragon Form... Uh, magnified it. I think it's what helped it work. And effectively, you would one-shot anybody and instantly win. Which, they did patch out, bless them. But it, it turned up again in the form of the modded Crystal Great Swords, which gave people the potential to, to do backstabs that just were out of this world. And Funny story, I... I I actually put a, a modded Crystal Greatsword on one of my uh, save edited builds. And my logic behind it was to counter hackers. Or to counter people with modded life. You know, people that have insane stats kind of thing. People who um, start chomping down on, you know, endless supplies of, of mushrooms and divine blessings and things. You know, your you standard fare of, of the type of stuff you, you bumped into on Dark Souls. And. I never ended up using it. It was on my my Artorius build, and I just I just played as you Artorius, and uh, completely forgot I had it. Which it's interesting how stuff like that can happen. A lot of people seem to to be really critical of editors, and I understand where it comes from, because it is frustrating what people can do with them. But I do think, and I, I will to defend to this day, that there is a lot of good that comes from them as well. Because they allowed me to do a lot of things that would have taken a hell of a lot longer to do. And uh, I'm in a similar position with this game. There are so many weapons I'd love to use and I'd love to do some PvP with. But the resources that you have to upgrade them with are so rare and take so long to farm, I, I'm just so sick of farming and I'm lazy at this point so I don't have an ed editor to, to do the farming for me so I just don't play <laughs> and you know that's the double sided sword of it as much as people hate the editors you know they like watching Dark Souls content but a lot of the, the people who make Dark Souls content need to make a lot of builds and if you want to be the type of person who doesn't use editors and you know doesn't cheat or anything or all the stuff that people you know accuse you of doing when you people drop your stuff or you used to bottomless box and all the other classics you have to put in a lot of time and not everybody has a lot of time and there are some people that are just complete in their absolute hate for for anything that exists outside of the game and I can respect that, but at the same time, I don't want to waste my life doing something I don't enjoy. There's no fun to that to me, and if I can skip it, then I will. And you generally get the same things thrown back in your face when you, you say such a, a statement. No scorching iron scepter in inventory. Ah, huh, so we need one of them. You know, why do you play games on the hardest difficulty if, if you're willing to cheat and... You know, as I said, I'm willing to put the time in if it's something I enjoy. I happen to enjoy getting bummed. You know, when I was in prison, all the boys loved me. Have I been up here? Is this where I came in? No, I like the struggle. The struggle to me is, is character building, it's endearing, and it makes the victory worthwhile. The plague of, of YouTube is you don't see the struggle. 
So a lot of people get, you know, the wrong impression. Like, uh, I got a comment today about somebody saying my, my Devil May Cry 1 Dante Must Die walkthrough wasn't on Dante Must Die because I was doing more damage to Nightmare 3 than they were. And anyone who's been with my channel knows I don't lie about difficulty. There's no point. I'm not a 14-year-old girl trying to impress people by having more Facebook friends than other people. It doesn't appeal to me. I don't exist to feed my ego. You know, my ego exists because I exist. It's not the other way around. Although you could get probably quite metaphysical and, and analyse that, but we're not gonna. Apparently there's about to be some fire. <laughs> Scary. Oh! Mr. Invisible Assassin went home. Shame on him. So I explained to this person that, you know, just because you don't understand how Nightmare works, and you're getting different results to me, doesn't... Oh, shit. Is that one of those women? It would appear so. Doesn't necessarily mean that the, the guide is not on Dante Must Die. There are a lot of variables in games that you don't really control. And whenever you watch somebody else do things, it always looks ten times easier than when you've tried to do it. We've all been there. We've all experienced it. And this person is just essentially looking for something to blame because they can't do something. And it's human nature... It is what it is. Just like the fart that I'm about to do, so hopefully it doesn't come through on the mic too bad, but... I've been up all night, the old bowels are playing up. <laughs> is she still alive? Yeah, she is. This is dangerous, this. A lot of spikes on the walls, I don't know what's down there, should I rush her? And the person just... Every response they gave, well, you know, I, I'm doing the exact same thing you're doing, it's the exact same as yours, you know, it just doesn't make any sense. And at some points I just want to say, like, you know, dude, it's, it's fucking you. You know, if it's not working, it's not my guide's fault, it's, it's your fault. Something in your game world is not doing what I'm doing in the video, or you would not be having the problems, you would be winning. It's that simple. And... When you say something like that to some people, they get very offended because they think like you're insulting them or they think you're being sharp or being mocking or, or whatever they want to think, I don't really care. Which is why uh, I, I provoke a lot of ire <laughs> from people. And it's not because I'm trying to offend them, it's just I get a lot of comments and time wasted on people not really worth the, the time could be spent answering other people who are worth the time and it can be quite frustrating. Um, we're all human, so we all get a little bit irate, and it's just like, stop looking for something to blame, because you can't do something, and just do it. I cannot find this armour for the life of me. Was it a glove or something? Because it should be at the bottom. It's there. Fume Sorcerer Glove. It's very light. Uh, after the old Iron King sunk into the lava... Scores of men were dispatched to this land to tap the replete stores of iron. But they soon lost their nerve when faced with the Child of Dark, and all but the most steadfast of them became servants of the Black Fog. So I assume this is mentioning this Nadalia lady who swept in here. Uh, probably a sibling to, you know, the Manus spawn of Nishandra and all that other law, which I don't really care for. Although undeniably interesting. <clears throat> but what generally happens in those cases is as I don't reply, you know, I I've replied as much as I can, and I know if I reply again, then they will. Because the people that you really don't want to reply are always the ones who reply. <laughs> it's just, you know, sod's law. Whoa, she's quite aggressive. I don't know why. She's got a knife, but she doesn't seem like she... Whoa, there goes the poise. There goes the ult. Oh, she touched the spike! <laughs> cool. Fuck you, bitch. I don't want to open this door. It looks dangerous. This is crazy. There's two of them. Shit. Can I uh, do a bit of... Oh, the throw distance on this game is... Toss. Kind of backpedaling. 
It's a very stacked encounter, isn't it? This one just here's a big blow to spikes and some fire and two ladies firing crazy magics. Have fun. Yeah, I can't throw for toffee. I wish you'd come closer. Come on, ladies. That other one was super aggressive. Now these are being utter bitches, just cowardly. Let's ever see what's in here. This could be a, a, a grave mistake. Because there's a big fella. Well, I've yet to fight. But I'm kind of looking forward to it. Not gonna lie. Oh, come on! The shit. Yo. Okay, so human effigy. Isn't it funny how the human effigies at the beginning felt like this this limited resource that was going to make the game much more challenging than Dark Souls, and then in the end, you kind of realise that there's no real penalty for death. <laughs> the cling ring. Well, it's not called the cling ring. Sorry, the what is it called? The binding ring, the ring of binding, trivialized the the whole risk of of the life dropping down, and then the game itself gave you a million ways to get back into human form that didn't involve effigies. So, at the end of the day, there's just no penalty for death at all. The seemingly punishing mechanic just turned out to be an inconvenience to people trying to, I don't know, humanity meant nothing in Dark Souls 2. You couldn't get invaded when you were hollow, you could be summoned when you were hollow. What was the fucking point? Get more life, who cares? <laughs> Just don't get hit. Um. Oh, use a shield. Shields are... Very underrated. This just kind of sucks. Because... Two of them is really dangerous. And it's a, it's a long cross. It's not like I can hit and run. I have to commit. And if I commit, you know there's going to be a dead end, and you know... Oh, maybe not. Maybe there's a corner. There is a corner. But then there's him. This is not fun. <laughs> this is not fun, this one. Um... Bow time. Feel free to skip ahead. Or listen to the uh, lunatic ramblings of a sleep-deprived commentator. Cannot get lock on at this range. Interesting. I wonder if I can use this to block the fireball and still shoot. As if! How cool is that? Just think, if I'd have never messed about with the bow, I would have never discovered something worth, well worth knowing. You can knock the fire things. That is really cool. This is going to be a fantastic place to invade. Can you shoot it just like a switch? She died. This place is terrifying. This place is going to be so much fun. This might actually make me want to invade again. But then again, they'll put you behind a door with a fucking contraption you can't use as an invader because the mechanics of invasions have been thought out so thoroughly well. <laughs> Not that I'm bitter or anything. I've always kind of felt that that's a little bit too quick. Um. This is so dangerous. So amazingly dangerous. Hello! I want to lure him back into that room if I can. I'm scared. I'm so scared! I don't think he can. Oh, he's coming. Oh, maybe not. Shit. 
Come on, dude, I want to try and cheese you with the thingamajigamut. <laughs> Watch fire to, like, no damage. <clears throat> I think we got his attention. It's kind of like the giant move. I thought he was going to do a second hit then. <sighs> Fuck. This guy's made of fire. Have I got rid of rock barrels? Yeah, I have. Do you know what I've just noticed? Somebody made a joke about smelter demons and, like, several smelter demons. Think about what this thing is. It's kind of a smelter demon. It's got shoulder pads that emit fire, which will damage you if you try to hurt it. It's a fucking smelter demon. I've only just realised. Whoa, that looked like the, the flame lurker hit. He's got too much life. And I know why, it's because I'm on... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. He's even got the hot back. Maybe the fire doesn't hurt you. I bet it does. I uh, think I just got lucky. He must have a second hit to that, but... I think he has a fair amount of recovery. Not what I wanted to do, you heard it. You heard it. Don't even tell me you didn't not hear it. You all did. Yeah, I actually think this guy's not bad at all. I think that's a, a very balanced enemy. I just think the arena is, is perhaps not suited for him. And that other place where there was a fucking, you know, Stanley Matthews band in it as well. Just not good times. Interesting, though. Interesting. Like, the game trailer... Iframes featurette mentioned that the emphasis on this DLC was death, that it was a steep step up and it seemed to be very heavy on the traps and the ambushes and so far they've been spot on. How many orbs did I get for that guy? What about that orbs? Souls. <laughs> I wonder. It is it's been true. But I don't think it's been as cheap as the, the sunken one. Like that room full of nasties. With no redeemable features. This is a boss. This has to be a boss. Jesus Christ. I hope there's a lot of bosses in this one. I hope there's th like four or five bosses. That was my main concern with DLC. I always want bosses. Like areas are good. The areas are great. I like areas. But I like bosses too. Bosses are, are my thing. <laughs> 